So we're here at the Intel booth and uh, here at Mobile World Congress, you launched X3. We did. So who are you? Hi, I'm Megan Langer. So what do you do? I am in marketing at Intel. So um, this is Sophia, right? This is this is what code name was Sophia, the family of processors that we built for affordable phones and tablets. So what are we looking at right here? Uh, this is the um, a reference design from Rockchip. Yeah. So this is a reference design, kind of like a phablet? It is a phablet, yeah. Seven it's inch, tablet. Uh, Seven inch tablet. Uh, with a Sophia 3G-R. What is a 3G-R? It, it was a code name that we had used, 3G-R, but it's essentially the, the right name, that the, the branding that we have on this is an Intel X3 C-series, C3, C3 230RK. So that's the name that we use. That's a branding name that we use. So, Sophia was a code name. So uh, X3 is an SOC, right? Yes. Yes. It's the first. It's the first product with Intel where we've integrated the comms modem with the applications processor. So it's a two-chip solution. And what are we looking at? Yeah. So it has. We have a two-chip solution for the Sophia part. So we have the base SOC that has got your APGP. IP for your uh, ISP, which is the camera stuff, and also it's got the uh, video IP in it and the baseband, that's one chip. The second chip is all the analog stuff, which you call the Eagle 620, and that's got your base, it's got the RF, and it's got the Bluetooth, FM radio, connectivity, and all those, and power supply, PMIC audio, all those pieces. So, yes, two chip solution. And for both, this, both the uh, Sophia 3G and the 3GR, or what we call the Intel Atom uh, X3, C3100 and the C3230, right? So we have uh, right here, we have the different ones. There's some with, that finish with RK, that's yes. the rock chip part. So, so let's start with that one. This is the Intel part, that's the Intel Atom, yeah. like I said before. X3 C310, it's a dual chip solution. To dual SOC. core? No, no, dual core. This is the dual core, two chip solution with Intel uh, SOC and the Eagle 620, which is also. Right Intel. here we see some tablets. Yes, yeah, so but it tablet. also goes in phones. So these are the seven inch tablets for that have this, the dual core parts. And what does MRD and mean? MRD is the market reference design. So you develop reference designs? Yes, we have reference designs. We work with ODMs from the ecosystem, both from China Tech ecosystem and the Taiwan ecosystem. And you know, then we give it to our local OEMs. So we call it the turnkey. So uh, uh, you, you, Intel acquired Infineon, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, is this uh, part of the result of uh, the IP that you got with Infineon? Yes, Infineon, uh, you know, they, they were the uh, inventors of the Slim modem. And we we have acquired the the IP and you're seeing the you know some of the great products come out as a result of that. So uh, everything that we're looking at, do you, do you announce uh, this is 28 nanometer? Uh, yeah, tab? so these are right now on 28 nanometer TSMC process. We will very shortly bring them over to uh, the 14 nanometer. Shortly. Yes, quickly. Quickly. So this year. I can't comment on that. Maybe? We are working but on so it. But so that when you say 14, that means Intel, Intel Fab. Yes. So it's going to be Fab that Intel and the, the next Intel, one. Intel built in Intel. Fab. And you also announced so. X5 and X7. What is that? X5 and X7 is uh, the processor that will go into our premium, mainstream and premium tablets. Um, what we did with X5 and X7 was with they're the first 14 nanometer uh, processors for tablets. They're already 14. They're already 14 nanometer, correct? And so they also have Sophia. No, so that it's the code name was Cherry Trail. So it's okay. the it's um, the predecessor to Morefield um, and, and Bay Trail. And you're even showing some X7 around here. We are, yes. Right so there's a, like a tablet. Uh, yes, it's a, this is our. Uh, manufacturing reference design. So we build these reference designs for to show what is possible with our processors. So it's thin and light, and it has a some port here. Yeah, this for this testing is, stuff. This is yeah, this is meant to show you know what Cherry Trail is capable of. So what can it do? Uh, so with Cherry Trail, what we focused on was graphics. Um, so versus Bay Trail. It's two, two times the graphics, but at the same battery life and performance. Two times the graphics, same battery life? Yes. So double yes. GPU, there's a better GPU? Is it Intel GPU? What is it? Uh, yeah, Gen 8. Yeah. Gen 8? Yes. 
Okay, and so what are you showing here? Uh, so this is just a game that, that we're playing that's showing off some of the graphics. So you're showing uh, cool graphics. And uh, this is, uh, the X7 is mainly for tablets, not for like the laptop market or... It's for tablets, yeah. It's for tablets. It's for mainstream to premium tablets. All right. You'll see these come out in Q2. Is this also X7? Uh, no, this is, this is more field actually. More field, which is the previous one? Which is, That's in the market. This is the previous one. It's in the market. This is the Dell Venue 8 tablet. It's, it's a very thin, series. it's a nice it's display. It's the thinnest tablet in the world. Is it a good price also? It is Retail? $99. That's okay. And it has the RealSense camera. So these, uh, this is Intel RealSense technology. There are actually three cameras here. RealSense, is that a uh, company acquired or you no, developed this? Is this? A, this is a brand from Intel and our, our own technology. This is called Snapshot. So it, it provides depth photography. That's cool. Um, so the three cameras will snap simultaneously at different depths. Yeah. And what you get is a uh, photograph um, that that get, that, sorry. Yeah. It's, uh, that's okay. Oh, there okay. it is. Uh, so now if I want to apply filters, like a black and white filter, I can do that based on the layers in the photo. Um, it knows foregrounds and backgrounds. I can also take measurements. And it has a good battery life, even though it's so thin? Yes, it has, it has good all-day battery life. So I, I can now measure objects within the photo. So this is a recent tablet? This is a recent tablet. It was just announced a couple months ago. All right. Um, and people are buying this all over the world. Can we go yes. back to those over there? So, um, yeah. so what is the GPU that you use? The GPU? Yeah. yeah. So on our uh, C, uh, X3 C3130 series, we use the Mali 400 MP2 GPU. Two MP2. MP2. Dual core. Dual core. And, and uh, is it different ones than the other ones? Yeah. So in our uh, the C X3 C3230 RK, we use the Mali 450 MP4. So quad core, a little higher GPU. A little higher GPU with, uh, paired yeah. with a quad core Intel Atom processor as well. And uh, how about the other ones? Yeah. So if you, so those are the phablets that you saw there. So we do it on tablets, phablets, and phones across yeah. all devices. And then this is the same thing we saw this before, but this is the phone form factor. Okay. Right. We talked about tablets. Now these are the phones. Yeah. Those are the phablets. And then if you come over here, this is the, uh, I believe, the part that you, what you refer here to is the. C X3 C3440. That's the high end of X3. This is the high end quad core Intel Atom processor, X and also has the uh, T720 MP2 uh, 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 for the graphics GPU. T720 MP2. Mali. Mali. Uh, so that's a uh, quite high GPU performance. Yes. So it's you know that's why we have the 400, 450, and the 720. Does uh, having a Mali GPU does that help in uh, uh, kind of like the Android apps, the games, and all that stuff? It's optimized definitely for the Android uh, ecosystem, and it is uh, you know when we picked Mali, you know we picked it because of the price points and the target segment that we were working for, and that's it kind of suited it, so we picked it. But that's, this is Mali with x86. How well does it integrate? Does it inter integrate seamlessly? Everything is great? So that's what we, yeah. So today yeah. they're working. You see examples of these systems working. And yeah. it's all integrated. And is it smooth? It is or how much more work do you need to do? It's all done. We, we just, these are all great silicon that we're working on on all of these. So you know, these are the ones that, that uh, let's see if it's here. I don't yeah. know how many apps are in this one. So That's OK. There's no apps. Oh, it's the one training. Yeah. They, they have some apps here. Yeah. Right, so this is, you can see how smooth it is, it's you know, not really an issue. So right here, you, right here you, you, uh, you're showing uh, several, uh, like you have BYD, you have Tongfang, so that means you're working with a whole bunch of uh, Shenzhen uh, uh, ODMs. Yeah, we have 20 design partners that um, are committed to building designs based on Sophia. Um, and so, we expect that to grow over time. So how is that partnership going with the, with the design houses in Shenzhen? Because you've been doing a bunch of things with tablets. Is this also going to be the similar around here? Absolutely, yeah. We, uh, we have completely changed and learned a lot over the last year in how we develop um, tablets and how we can support them. We have a turnkey program that has allowed us to go from you know many months to, to go from an RFP to a product and now we can do that in 60 days. 
And so you are uh, you kind of like helping them to get it done, right? Yes. You have your engineers over there. We do. And they go and you you go all the way to make sure everything works. We do. We create blueprints for them. We create re uh, reference designs that they can literally take and and get to market very quickly. Do you also get them customers. Um, yes. You help them to yes, get the we customers. Yes, we have marketing. We have uh, we have channel and retail support. So we we take it end to end. Yeah. All right. So uh, how soon are these on the market? Yeah, so these will be uh, expected to be in the April May time frame, the, the, the dual core ones. Dual core ones are those yeah. right now? Yeah, the, 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 yeah, this one. This one is expected towards uh, more towards May June. That's the rock chip, the uh, rock chip versions. May June? Yeah, we'll have that. And then we'll have second half of the year, we'll have the, uh, you know, the LTE versions. Oh, we got it back, thank you. Yeah. So. Can, can you talk just a little bit more about uh, the rock chip partnership? Um, what goes into the rock chip partnership? So we work with Rockchip closely uh, in terms of what we design, how, what kind of IPs we work with. We, we have a lot of uh, interaction with them, a very close tie-up in terms of pulling the, the product together. And uh, eventually we get it manufactured at TSMC on the 28 nanometer, which we will soon bring it over to our Intel fabs and Do the Rockchip have a video, video uh, acceleration? Rockchip, uh, they do their they video do. stuff? Their video, they, they have a bunch of, you know, uh, Compression, acceleration, etc. They have all of that. So they have a lot of good IP that we, we work with. Them. All right. Cool. Okay. So looking looking for these to come on the market very soon.